airport is so tiny. We literally just got off that flight and they're taking our bags off. We stepped inside, found the woman for our hotel and now we're in the baggage claim area, which is just here. And there's a sign over there, it says exit. <laughs> so we're just checking into our room. We're 218. Look at this. It's absolutely massive, but this is the kind of luxury that I need in my life. Look at the size of this bed. It's huge. Oh, I love the rattan as well. <gasps> this is so, this, what? There's a whole sofa. This bedside table, Jess, is massive, isn't it? Oh, it's massive though, that's big. Oh, do we have like a whole little notebook? Like a big- and The size of the bed, I've never seen it that wide before. Yeah, and with gigantic hand sanitizer as well. Really? And there's one, oh, something's obviously gone. These are like rattan headboards, aren't they? Why is the floor like broken here? Mm, okay, um, yeah, massive bedside table here. And then, swinging you around this way, there's a really cool chair. Oh, there's no dressing table here, that's what's missing. Okay. So there's like a TV and just an area to put your stuff. Is there a fridge here? Do we reckon? Nope. Yep. Okay, there's a fridge, that's cool. Tea, coffee, stuff. And then there's a full length mirror here. Don't look at me, I look awful. And this is the bathroom. Um, there's a toilet there. Sink, big vanity area. Oh, do you know what? I think everyone just gives you a dental kit here. Because I thought it was really weird the first hotel we stayed in, but it seems to be the norm. Loads of towels, a big mirror, and a walk in shower. Oh, it's not a rainforest shower. Mm, okay, it's fine. It's a nice hotel, much nicer than our last one. And then we've got like a whole wardrobe situation going on here with, with like dressing gowns. And then I'll take you to show you the balcony. The balcony is massive, right? But it feels very much like a prison. Um, because I don't get why the wall is so high. And there's like a table here, really cool chairs. I want these in my house. Wouldn't mind the table either. And look at this sofa. It's a really big balcony. We have a forest view room. Well, from what you can see of the forest. In my head, that just means loads of creepy crawly. So I can't imagine I'll be spending too much time out here. Especially because there's like loads of dead ones on the floor here as well. Oh, did we get slippers here? I hope we did. This hotel room is really, really nice. I love the decor. It does feel very prison-esque, like I said, especially when you come in as well outside. There's no like greenery. I think it may be new because they're probably still planting stuff, but it's all just white concrete, high walls, just very bland. But they are missing a lot of the finer touches, I think. Um, it's not like amazing. There's something about it. Like I need a dressing table. They don't have one. Um, I don't think there's any slippers either, which, little bit annoying yeah but anyway hopefully it's a nice hotel they didn't really tell us anything about it so we don't know if we have um breakfast included or if we have um where the pool is and they literally just checked us in and the guy brought us up to our room so we're gonna go and explore it in a bit my eyes are closed this your slippers yeah and not those white piddly ones right yes here you go slippers are these used are someone they? else's feet been in them no they only you look the brand new how do you know they look because look, they are not being used far as I'm aware. Oh, okay. Look, far as I'm aware, they're, they're, look, these are... I don't know, I feel like someone else Look, you could tell that someone's sweated in all this thing. Look, look, uh, they, don't, they, don't they haven't been used. Look, they're... So this is the reception, and the entrance is massive. Like, it goes all the way back there. We've just walked from there. So I think this is our building, but this is these are like sea-facing or pool facing rooms. We're on the other side, so we face like nothing. Oh yeah, look, they don't have a high concrete wall. See, Jess? And look, now we're going down. We're gonna check out the pool, check out the beach, but first we're gonna get a coffee, right Jess? Yes. Please tell me they do soy milk. Oh, this is so cool. Actually, it's quite nice out here. But look, everyone else's balconies are so much nicer. I don't know if people are to see on camera. But um, this is the pool. It's open till 10 p.m. That's insane. Should we get a coffee first? Yeah. We're literally 
checked into our room and went straight for a swim, as you can tell by my wet hair. Really good timing, because now it's raining. So you'll be able to see. I had a coffee at the pool bar, it wasn't great. Um, it was basically a glass of milk with a tiny little bit of coffee in it for me. It's dark so early here. <clears throat> they don't have like four seasons like we do, so they only have rainy season and then summer sunny season but we've just been for a um, dip in the pool it's really nice there's loads of like dead insects in the pool though loads of dragonflies are just floating around i think they're dragonflies anyway um, now we're back at the pool bar and i'm gonna have a cocktail what are you having a cocktail yes. what's the seller okay um so two cocktails free dinner um and then we're gonna go back to the room shower up fix this face get dressed for dinner there's like some live music or some live entertainment tonight in the restaurant and there's a buffet dinner on um it's quite pricey it's like 25 pound per person um got the local fishes but there's like a lot of like fresh fish and stuff so i need to see if there's any veggie options if not i have the option of like an a la carte menu anyway so hopefully it's good both our drinks sit the same but i have a campari orange and you have a whiskey sour right yep. this is our view it's suddenly gone so dark here cheers I have no idea what the difference between a black Russian and an espresso martini is, but this black Russian tastes just like an espresso martini. Maybe, who knows at this point, but it's so good. Okay, we're all dressed up. I forgot to vlog in the room. We showered, had a lovely shower, washed our hair, got all dressed up, and now we're going down to the restaurant, restaurant. in the hotel. There's a buffet dinner on tonight. There's Jess all dressed up. Yeah. It's very dark in here, like there's, <laughs> they're definitely trying to save electricity. Um, you can barely see where you're going actually. Oh my God, the Christmas lights. It feels so weird guys to be in like a really hot country, obviously the other side of the world. Um, and they're celebrating Christmas, like getting ready for Christmas because it just doesn't feel like the temperature's not right for Christmas for us. I'm trying to like, fall down the stairs, but oh, it's so pretty. Well, the music, These yeah. are the lanterns I could see in the trees oh, yeah. in wow. the daytime. Yeah. It's all lit up. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Oh, there's like bits of grass here that I keep <laughs> falling in. So That's funny. Cool. There we go. And okay. this is the restaurant. So, this is the restaurant, and this is the buffet. We're sat outside, kind of outside, it's a little bit sheltered. They've got a pasta station here where they can make pasta. Hello. <laughs> They've got a uh, fish soup, there's bread, potato salad. I mean, I can have a mixed green salad. There's a fish something, sushi, cold cuts and cheeses, vegetable pizza. Oh God. Um, they're going to make this for me without the shrimp sauce. It's some vegetable dish with okra and potatoes. There's not really like a ton of veggie choice here, but there's like obviously steamed rice and buttered vegetables. There's a, this is all seafood and meat. And there's like obviously fruit and desserts. And this is all um, seafood. Right, so I'm starting with a salad with two different dressings, a potato salad, and they made me some pasta. I just got my second course, one slice of vegetable pizza, salad again, some buttered veg and some steamed rice and she just bought me this curry. It's the only like vegetable curry that they've got but the one at the buffet has shrimp sauce in it so she's done it without the shrimp sauce for me. Looks good. <laughs> Such a random mishmash of food. Just a 
breakfast. There's a hash brown. I got so excited when I saw beans and then I saw the word pork. But then this, I find this really, really off-putting. I keep seeing it everywhere. It's like actual fish heads and like little baby fish. And, oh, it just really grosses me out. Once again, I can have garlic rice <laughs> um, and buttered veg. Oh. Do you mind? <laughs> I'm filming. Here's a quick outfit of the day. I've realised I haven't worn this play suit actually yet on this trip, but we are off to the beach. Um, we haven't been to the beach yet, and then we're going to... Um, then we're gonna head to the pool. Where's my face? Right. Then we're gonna head to the pool and have a nice chilled morning. just started spitting and I don't know if that's like a volcano erupting or like a fire in the distance. We've only been in the sea for about an hour and all of a sudden it's gone so cloudy and very smoky. I don't know what's going on. It's actually quite chilly, you know, um, in the water. It's really weird. It's actually quite pleasant as well at the same time. But I don't know if you can see that plane sort of over there somewhere. That's the airport, literally somewhere around here. I remember seeing this exact view because this beach is called Leo Beach and the airport is called Leo Beach. So there's a plane literally landing behind me somewhere um, and our drive from the airport here was literally about six minutes, not even that. So this plane's about to land, but I just, it's a bit concerning. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's literally where the airport is, just there. Wow, look at the rain, can you hear it? I don't know if you can see it from here, but there are literally people just chilling in the pool in this heavy rain with their cocktails. And we are just waiting so we can make a run for the pool bar, which is just there. <laughs> we spent all morning <laughs> <laughs> at the beach and then just hanging out in the pool bar because it has been chucking it down it's been really rainy here today actually not surprising it is rainy season we've just come back to our room showered up and packed up all our stuff because we're changing rooms so the guy will be here any minute to come and take our luggage when we checked in we got this like room with a balcony which you will have seen um that was really high and it just feels like a prison and when we looked around the resort everyone else had like a really nice open balcony um, and we don't get any sun here and we're like hand washing a lot of our clothes because we were traveling obviously for two weeks and we only brought like a limited number of clothing items with us um, and there's just no sun nothing's drying we're like kind of in the middle of nowhere our rooms we mentioned it to them and they said yesterday if you just hang on till about three o'clock they'll change us to a different room so no idea where we're going but we're going to follow this man and check into our new room which would be nice here we are, <laughs> literally a few doors down. Apparently we've, we've been upgraded to a garden view room. It's actually freezing in here. The aircon was on so high. Um, and I don't know about the view because it is, oh, it's a much nicer balcony, you know, Jess. Yeah. I don't know if it's bigger, but you know, it's probably the same size. It's just a nicer view. Like the other one, the wall was up to here, like probably a bit higher. You just saw a little bit of sky and it felt like a prison, but, this is nice. Oh, is this a badminton thing? Oh, yeah. And the pool's over there. Oh. That's quite cool. Isn't it much nicer? Yeah. Whoa, the rain is terrible though. I know. In fact, can I just say, this is the room we actually paid for. I remember doing this booking and we paid for a garden view room because it was cheaper than um, a pool view or sea view room. Um, I don't pay extra for like a nicer view because like who cares so they obviously messed up yesterday and put us in an even cheaper room so this isn't actually an upgrade it's basically what we paid for i'm so excited let's just shut this door properly um we i've just found what well, yesterday oh it's so humid my camera's getting steamed up i found a vegan restaurant 
don't know if you want to see it. It says closed because I was Googling it at 10 p.m. It's apparently open. Which way did we come from? Through this way, yeah. <laughs> and we're going and hopefully we get some good food because this entire trip the food has been absolutely abysmal. Like it's been so bad. Look at how humid it is. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. cloudy. Yeah. Like it's still raining. Well, the rain is actually... Oh. Do you know what? I'm to redo this. Ah, oh, the lights haven't come on yet. We're in the lobby area. But can you see how wet it is everywhere? Like it's chucking it down and um, I don't have appropriate footwear for this. The camera keeps fogging up because of the humidity, it's crazy but um, yeah this is the uh, reception area. Our ride has arrived. There's no taxis here apparently, it's a tricycle or a van so this is where we're going. guys it's called taste el nido and i'm so excited right it's completely vegan and it's open but this is their all day breakfast they do smoothie bowls which oh i just love it this is apparently new they do like these wraps coffee oh, i'm so exciting I can't tell you how happy I am to be here. I'm just, I don't even care if the food's bad. It's just food that I can eat that's actual food, not just garlic rice and veg. I'm so happy. Um, our tricycle ride here was the scariest thing ever, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, Google Maps said 15 minutes, took a little bit longer than that, but it's essentially just like a tin on wheels, like an actual tin attached to the side of a motorbike, and it is so rickety, and the guy had to keep stopping when he was going up a hill, um, it was terrifying and obviously there's like crazy like flooding here because it's been chucking it down all day. The thing felt very unstable. At first we thought the guy spoke absolutely no English because he didn't say a single word to us. I was just thinking to myself, you could just leave us anywhere and nobody would ever find us again because it's pitch black. Then we finally got into the town centre, which is very lively by the way. <laughs> I want to go for a little walk around. Um, but they don't do taxis here, so it's either a tricycle, which costs 300 pesos from our hotel, which is about a fiver, or a van, which would have cost 20 quid. Um, that's 1,200 pesos. So we were like, yeah, tricycle. I was working it out on the way here, and I was thinking to myself, oh, I wish we'd have just got a van. It just feels a lot safer. But we got him. He's apparently going to come pick us up at 8 o'clock, like in an hour and a half, but kind of made me want to go with somebody else just to oh I don't know his bike just did not feel very safe anyway this place is so cool like what a find and apparently there are other vegan restaurants here that told me I'm so excited it's just sharing it's sharing yeah wow thank you so much beautiful that's the tofu sweet chili tofu chickpea chicken this is spicy yeah this one this is the sauce. This one is the sauce for the chickpea, and this is the salad dressing. Oh, amazing! Thank you. Uh, sweet chili sauce, and this is the salad dressing. Also. Oh, perfect! Right. Thank, thank, guys. thank you. Guys. Thank you very uh, much. To follow the others, the Mahindis. Okay, oh yeah, that's you. fine. Thank you. So we didn't go too crazy and order one of everything, even though I wanted to. But we're basically sharing this. You can do the first taste test. One chickpea. What's this one again? Tofu and sweet chili wrap. Okay, I'm going to try this without the sauce. Go on. Try it. Try it. Really? Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even speak. It's so good. The guy said the chickpea one's better, didn't he? That's to what you recommend. This is the tofu wrap. Oh my god. Divine. <laughs> Okay, we also got the mac and greens, I think it's called, or the mac and cheese. It's got broccoli in it. I realise we've gone kind of overboard and ordered three mains, but oh my god. I've only had the tofu wrap so far, and it is so good. 
these streets are um, really quite something. There's like dogs, beetles, rats, ditches, stones. <laughs> That's a tall place. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Trying to not get run over here is also quite tricky. Oh, well, just here's a falafel place. All right. Falafel means vegetarian. Three birds falafel. Uh, That's so cool. So these are the tricycles. And they just zoom past you. This is what they look like. This one looks nicer than our one. Our guy's one was just a tin of wheels. Look at these plants. I'm in a random shop seen some bamboo straws which I think are really cool and the normal ones are 12 pesos each so I'm buying some and a bamboo <laughs> straw cleaner for 35 pesos which is about 50p they do do sets but I don't think I need eight straws in my life I already have four metal ones at home hmm. I've just come to a convenience store to get some snacks because it's so much cheaper to do that than get it from the hotel and we've gone for these sriracha ranch crisps and some lays of lace snacks stacks sorry sour cream and onion So happy, dinner was amazing. We walked around the town for a little bit and we bought some snacks. I'll do a little haul, right? Four cans of Coke Zero because they're 40 pesos in like a local shop. We have a fridge in our room and they're like 150 or 200 pesos in the hotel here, so makes sense. Um, we bought these Lay's sn snacks, no, stacks. Sour cream and onion because we're on a boat trip tomorrow and they say they have veggie food. <sighs> Who knows, so I'm taking some crisps. And just bought these Cheetos Crunchies. Mm. What else, what's in it? Oh, oh yeah! Forget, that's all we bought in terms of food, right? Mm. Um, we bought a dry bag. Everyone seems to have their own here. It's basically a waterproof bag that you can take. Like when we went kayaking in Abu Dhabi, they gave us one to put our stuff in like camera equipment. It just yeah. protects, it's basically waterproof. But it's called a dry bag because it keeps it dry. And then I bought, oh, it's wet because the cans, but some bamboo straws. I'm not gonna open them all up. Um, just, I'll just shove them in my suitcase like this. But I bought two sets of four. Well, you just pick as many as you want, but I did two sets of four and a cleaner and Eight straws and two cleaners was like, what, £2.50 or less? It was really cheap. <laughs> oh my god, I've just started eating breakfast and there is. Is that a caterpillar? I think it's a caterpillar. I feel so disgusted is right it, now. Is it a caterpillar? I think so. Just have a look. I feel disgusting. Oh, on for our up. Have a look. Have a look. Morning. It is chucking it down today. But we are off on a boat tour around some different beaches. There's four different tours you can do in El Nido. It's A, B, C and D. We're doing A, we wanted to do C as well, but the weather is really bad. I woke up to like an emergency alert on my phone. It's an orange weather warning, meaning something about flash flooding. I'm a little bit worried because a lot of the hotel seems to have flooded as well because they don't have like, there's like gaps in the walls and stuff like that. So. Hopefully we're okay, but it should be a really fun day. We did check with the tour provider and it is still going ahead. So that's great news. And once again, here's our ride. Playing a tricycle into the town centre. Mortified. I think I vlogged yesterday that I found a caterpillar in my breakfast. Jas caused a bit of a scene. I spoke to the manager. She was like pleading with us to eat, and we were like, no, we're actually in a rush to go and get our boat. Um, this morning, like the general manager of the hotel and his like two bodyguards <laughs> came out in like 
convoy through the restaurant <laughs> all looking like very clipboard. official yeah with clipboards and I was like oh what's going on here until they stopped at our table and they were like good morning and I was like oh my god this is mortifying <laughs> with a whole long drawn out public apology <sighs> and then they tried to offer us um in all fairness they tried to like you know they were like oh we can give you a complimentary alfresco dinner tonight or um, a massage and I was thinking I don't I don't like the food here like honestly it's just not worth it to me um, now that I found that amazing vegan restaurant in the city centre it's just a fraction of the price and way better food so I was like no I don't want a dinner and then they were like we can give you a complimentary massage so that's what we're doing I don't really want the massage though like I feel well, like it ruins right. my plans of just like lying on the beach all day today um, Oh, I'm so tired after paddle boarding yesterday. Like I, oh, my arms are killing. Are your arms hurting? Yeah. I was the you, driver actually. You were the driver, yeah. She she sat at the back, and they said that's a driver, and I said no, okay, well, what? But you, you insisted, so yeah. you did the hard work. Why is it that you always find a shortcut on your last day? <laughs> We've been walking around this whole place just to get to our room, which is there actually, with my pink dress hanging off the. Uh, dry thing <laughs> and we've been walking all the way around there and we've just discovered that the restaurant which is straight ahead is kind of right across the road from our room not road you know what I mean we're just at the spa it's so nice and peaceful here so we're back at Leo Beach I think these are the things that have been biting me you know Nick Nicks A bit of a struggle for you, isn't it? <laughs> it's oh I'm my god, we're losing it! We're losing it! <laughs> I get it! I get it! I see it! Ta da! Good job! <laughs> Please don't join the volleyball team! <laughs> Oh my gosh, you are really struggling there, aren't you, to get the ball? Nisha, are you swimming away from me? Okay, you're kind of disappearing now. I can't get it! Oh no, you lost that ball! <laughs> She's round! She gave up! She kind of said, oh, too deep now. Oh my gosh. I've never swam so fast in my life. You have destroyed. I don't know what you've done there, look at that. It's in, it's in reach, actually. Go on then. Do you want go to go on then. Go on then. Who's the fastest swimmer, me or you? You. Come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I can't believe you left it alone. That's gone. Oh my god. Do you want to get it? Goodbye, Paul. Just, that's this, far too deep. That. <sighs> I can't even stand up here, by the way. Do you know something? That would have helped you. Where is it? I can't even see it now. It's yeah. gone, isn't it? Thanks very much, Nish. <laughs> I'm still having a heart attack. And I can't reach touch It was actually in reach, it was. I can't touch the floor here. Shall I go and get it? Do you want to drown? Yeah. Well, for a freebie ball that you found yeah. somewhere. It wasn't freebie, it was actually from my workplace. <laughs> right. Thanks very much, Nish. <laughs> Sexy sir. Do not play volleyball ever again. <laughs> oh, and I just checked the time and we've been in the sea for about an hour and a half. It's been so glorious, such a nice, peaceful last day in El Nido. El Nido's been really great actually. We have a massage booked um, for later this evening in the spa. I think I might have mentioned it this morning. Because I found a caterpillar in my breakfast yesterday, I obviously wasn't very happy. Um, I was freaking out, so I complained about it. And then I posted it on Instagram. Um, and the hotel saw and this morning they all came to apologise and they offered us either a free dinner or a complimentary massage. Here's Nish, the starfish in her natural habitat, just floating away. Looks like she ain't gonna come out anytime soon. Nice and cool here, calm water. Hello Nish. Hello. Earth to Mars. 
I know you're relaxing. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. The sun is like blinding me a little bit. Yeah, blinding me too. We're having lunch with a view and well, it's mostly just snacks but we're eating in the hotel today. We've got the fully loaded nachos and I've asked for the beef separately like on the side so Jas can have it. Obviously I'm not going to have that. And then we've got um, these cheese sticks. <laughs> no idea what that's going to be like. It's a kid's meal. And then, just to prove I'm not a kid, got black Russian. What did you get Jas? I went for Oh, sorry, whiskey sour. Whiskey sour. I can't even see you actually. Here we have nachos and there's a beef on the side. Here we have a kids' meal. It's chips and Look fried cheese pastries. Thank you. Thank you. It actually looks like um, those Turkish cigar boreks. You know the ones that are oh, filled yeah. with feta and spinach? Yes. Hmm, interesting. Hey everyone, I've got a bit of backlight here, but excuse my hair, looks like a chicken or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a chicken. Yeah, we've just um, been given some mangoes, polished them off. Uh, they were really nice. They were really nice mangoes. They were brought to us by, uh, surprisingly, by the, um, the manager who we spoke to yesterday uh, and made a complaint about the food. Uh, because Nish found a caterpillar in, a, in, a, Ooh, in one of her dishes. So they were quite apologetic after that yesterday and then out of nowhere she came and gave us some mangoes. And here's what the weird thing happened. When we were sitting down at the bar, um, all the stuff were kind of looking at us, you know, in a, in a different way. And it's almost like they kind of know who we are, like the complainers or something. Really which is not good really, because I don't want people tiptoeing around us. We just want to address the situation. But, um, and then someone actually took a picture of us. And it was so obvious, because someone's pointing the phone, you know, one of the mo uh, mobile phone at us one of the staff members and just took a picture and I thought okay that's not right something's going on here and literally within like half an hour she rocks up with uh, some mangoes so clearly like our name's gone round and our faces saying these are the two numpties so that, uh, that you gotta you know <laughs> watch yeah well they were nice mortified. yeah this was mortified anyway uh, I'm gonna have to jump in the pool in a minute leave you to it actually so mortifying like I don't want to be known as the person that complains but I think I'm going to complain if I find a caterpillar in my food um it's really embarrassing though yeah. but the mango here was so good so good right yeah insane Good evening from me and my very oversized bright yellow jumpsuit. We are off to the city centre. We've only got like a couple of hours really to grab some dinner, um, do a little bit of shopping perhaps and um, head to the spa for a massage. I love this song. <laughs> We're um, in the city centre. We had like a really terrible tricycle driver who dropped us off in the middle of nowhere about a 10 minute walk from where we actually asked him to drop us off <laughs> the great thing about here is that you can walk through like rows of people selling stuff on market stalls and they don't hassle you they'll like they'll be like excuse me ma'am and that's it. If you yeah, don't respond, they don't they press just, you here. That's it, yeah. It's, really it's actually nice. really good. You can browse in peace and like a lot of other places that you visit. If ever you guys want to design the labels in one, Javiana's with a Louis Vuitton sole. <laughs> I feel so sorry for the little kids. It's like, this guy's like selling two cigarettes. Oh, he's literally walking around with like cigarettes in his hand. Trying somewhere different for dinner. Cafe Athena. my vegetarian souvlaki which I'm pretty sure is not a souvlaki because the souvlaki comes in a pitta yeah it's normally pitta meat or halloumi chips and salad but whatever this is it is an actual meal that's vegetarian guys an actual meal dinner was actually pretty decent the hummus was terrible <laughs> like it was actually really bad but um the souvlaki or grilled veg and chips were pretty good um can't complain we're back at the hotel and we're gonna head down to the spa try and find our way around to get to the spa because we've got a massage booked for this evening which is such a nice little treat actually as our 
sort of last night in El Nido. I forgot where I was for a second then. Tomorrow morning we are leaving. First thing, yet again, packing our bags for the fifth time on this trip. Fourth? I've lost count. <laughs> Ready for our massages, and it's just in here. So, we're in this little cabin in the forest, and first, we're having like a foot bath. <laughs> so cool, you can't really see anything, but I have to sit here. Oh, how exciting! Oh my god, that was really good. I was so sleepy, I can't stop yawning. How was yours? Well, it was really good. I think I knew you fell asleep, you know. I think I snored as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just choked on my water. I'm too sleepy to talk. Um, <laughs> stupid me washed my hair about two hours before my massage, and she gave me a head massage as part of it so that I've got greasy hair. <laughs> I always forget how much I like a massage. That's made me so sleepy. I can't even. <laughs> I'm too tired. I'm gonna crash. I thought I would just come on here and end my vlog because it's 10.30 p.m. Because <sighs> it's 10.30 p.m. and we've got to wake up before six to pack up all our stuff. I have zero energy to do it now. Pack up all our stuff, have breakfast, check out and go to the airport. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!